Hello friend this is Sunil Sharma over here from Speed Math and today we are going to learn something very very interesting today I'm going to teach you how to divide any number by 9 in 5 seconds so without any further ado let's begin Try to divide this by 9 in 10 seconds and your time starts now So did you get the answer in 10 seconds? If yes, very good and if not, then keep watching. I'm going to teach you a technique with the help of which you can do the same calculation, same division in 5 seconds. So without any further ado, let's begin with the technique. Step 1, take the first digit as it is. So here the first digit is 1, so we are going to write it as it is. Step 2, add this digit to the very next one. So next digit is 2, so we are going to add these two diagonally. So 1 plus 2 is 3 which we are going to write it down below too. And we are going to repeat this process till we reach the last digit. So 3 plus 1 is 4 and then 4 plus 3 is 7 and 7 plus 1 is 8. Friends, the last digit is always considered as a remainder. So here 8 will be the remainder and the remaining digits are the quotient. It is so very easy, right? So let's take a quick recap of the entire technique so step 1 take the first digit as it is so here the first digit was 1 so we took it as it is step 2 add this number to the next digit the so next digit is 1 so we added 1 and 2 we got it 3 and we keep repeating this process till we reach the last digit so here the last digit was 1 so after adding 7 and 1 we got it 8 so always remember the last digit is considered as a remainder and the remaining digits are considered as the quotient Let's take up another example and let's see whether you can do it in 10 seconds. So here is the example 3 2 1 2 5 divided by 9. So let's check the answer. The first digit as it is 3 and we are going to add this 3 to the next digit. So 3 plus 2 is going to be 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. But wait. Here 13 seems to be bigger than the divisor and the remainder cannot be greater than the divisor that is what we have learned so there is something wrong over here right so whenever you get the remainder greater than the divisor what we do is we remove 9 from that and we add 1 to the last digit of the quotient so here what we are going to do we are going to subtract 9 from 13 and at the same time we are going to add 1 to the last digit of the quotient So 13 minus 9 will give you 4. So the remainder is 4. That is very clear. Now let's find the quotient. Now what we are going to do? We are going to add the remaining digits. So here 3, 5, 6, 8 plus 1 is 9. So 3, 5, 6, 9 is the quotient. So the important learning over here is, if the remainder is greater than the divisor, then we need to remove 9 from that number, and at the same time we need to carry forward 1 to the previous digit. I hope you have understood. Let's move on to the next division. Now let's take an example. Let's say we would like to divide one four three two four divided by nine. So the steps are same. One will come as it is, and then we'll add one and four, which will give us five. Five and three, which will give us eight. Eight plus two is ten. But wait, ten here is a double digit, and we cannot write double digit over here. So what we'll do? We'll carry forward this one like this, and then. 10 plus 4 is 14 so 14 is again greater than the divisor so as per our rule we are going to remove 9 from it and at the same time we are going to add 1 to the previous digit so 14 minus 9 is 5 so our remainder is going to be 5 and the quotient is going to be 1 5 9 1 so if you have understood the method Pause the video and solve the next three sums and post the answer in the comment of this video. Guys, if you have enjoyed learning this method with me, do give me a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. See you in the next video. Till then, peace.